Welcome to the Fan Fuel Podcast, Slick Track Edition. I'm down here at East Bay Raceway Park this week and happen to have Spencer Hughes, driver number 11. And he is pretty good wheel man for as young as he is. He ain't, he ain't scared to do a little bit of anything in that car. Spencer, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, well, uh, I grew up in uh, Meridian, Mississippi. I uh, started racing go-karts when I was six, and then uh, I think I was 13 when we started racing cars. So, uh, hadn't really quit uh, yet. All right. Well, uh, Spencer, choose an envelope, and looks like you got the A over here. So, here we go. This is the banging cushion questions. Number one, what do you do in the off-season? Uh, like to uh, I'll deer hunt every once in a while and play golf if it's warm enough. But uh, here lately, uh, just been working on race cars for me. Two, your favorite all-time fictional race car driver. Uh, no, I really don't know no. You don't know. None of, none of the racing movies come out and stand out to you. Huh? Uh, Days of Thunder would be my favorite All racing right. movie. Number three, favorite non-racing moment at a racetrack. Hmm. Uh, non, what do you classify as non-racing? Meaning that you were not there racing yourself. Uh, went to, uh, there's not a, there's very few, uh, you know, uh, weekends where I, I went to the racetrack and didn't race, but I went to the World 100 for the first time with Shane Plant. That's pretty cool. That's not, well, that's pretty good. Uh, four, which track would you like to see added to the tour or to your schedule? Uh, why not Motorsports Park? All right. And I know that's a pretty bad little, little bull ring down there. And they yeah. put on some racing. So. Yeah, it's right there in the backyard, too. And number five, which which track would you like to ax from the tour or your schedule, which you just got to go there anyway? Uh, hmm. Bubba's. All right, number six, name a bucket list track that you would like to win at. Oh, well, uh, it'd be cool to win out at Knoxville somewhere, you know, one of the, just one of the real historic tracks. And favorite race day meal? Uh, it doesn't matter, just anything anybody brings up in the trailer. Favorite color on a race car? Uh, black and red. And number nine is the car as is or topless? No, oh, topless, huh? I really like topless. And number 10, your most crazy oh shit moment in a race car. I had the, uh, in my street stock, I had the bar that my seatbelt tabs were mounted to. Uh, I had a couple pieces of lead on it, broke out one night racing at the bull ring. With wow. My, uh, with my shoulder belts attached to it. Oh, wow. Kind of, like during, you know, we were, we were racing at the moment there. So uh, that definitely uh, had me started a little bit. I didn't really know what was happening. Uh, that could have been a real bad deal, too. If oh, you absolutely. think about it, if it would have turned into a wreck or something like that, yeah. it would have been nasty. But, oh, absolutely. But I'm glad that survived and just been a little bit of a scare instead of something worse than yeah. what it was. Yeah, no but, doubt. Thanks for taking the time out and give us a little interview here at Spencer. Good luck for the rest of the year, and I think you're following Lucas again this year, right? Yeah. Well, good luck for the whole tour. I appreciate it. Pick up a win or two, hopefully. Maybe so. Maybe we'll see you at a racetrack here before too long. That'll work. Thanks, sir. Yep.